This video is sponsored by Invado Elements. Hey, hey people, so Jeremiah in this one. Extremely nice portraits, lots of warmth in those shadows. Those teals are sort of kept into the highlights. So it's very orange, orange, very far away from the red and it's pushing towards the yellows. Super beautiful work. There's obviously a strong fade to the image. Starting right in the blacks, we need to fade that out a lot. And then even through the mid-tones, bright highlights are still kept quite bright. So that's what the curve is gonna look like so we are working with the shot right here of his recreating that really strong fade the silky smoothness and that warmth throughout the image and i'll be linking him down in the description guys so go give him a follow presets available as well i'll link those up down below as well you guys can come over here check them out if you like them yeah let's get into this one so a bit more about our sponsor invado elements so this is the ultimate creators resource they have over 55 million creative assets so that could be fonts, that could be photos, video templates, website themes, and Adobe templates. So you can see them all across here. So we can go music, sound effects, graphics, fonts. So you may or may not have noticed at the start, I used some sound effects and I was super impressed with high quality sound effects they have over here in Envato Element. If you want to save 50% on your annual subscription, use the link down below. Come over and try them out yourself, guys. Otherwise, let's get back to the tutorial. All right, so screenshot here, raw image here. So 35 mil, F2, quick shutter just to expose it and then a low ISO because it's pretty bright. Turn on curves because there's just this really strong fade we need to achieve. So these on and as you can see this curve is going to give that flatness throughout the image if we look at the blue curve we've got a bit of extra blue in the highlights and then we've got a bit of green just coming in through the mids and just a tiny tiny drop to the reds there bringing in some, some cyan into the shadows very very subtle so this is the curves off and on not too much to the color going on so what we'll quickly do is just do some adjustments up here and then the curves will look a bit more obvious to you guys so highlights up we want that bloom shadows and then just a bit more contrast Right, here's the curves again, off and on. So much flatter and way nicer contrast. As you can see, the color does, colors don't change very much. Saturation down, um, a bit of a glow, bit of a bit more crispiness. Okay, and we, we need to warm up the image definitely. I, like, I think everything's very green at the moment. A little too warm as well, but we're gonna do some work in split toning. But we'll just shift that to a bit more of a purple to move some greens out. Like we want blues, there's maybe too much warmth. We're gonna have lots of blues in the shadows and that will take a lot of that out. As for highlights, we want some highlights there as for highlights i just want a little bit of like green in the highlights i reckon so blending i think it's new but it's like you overlap the colors we're gonna go by fine tuning the colors in nature style we should be able to get all the colors we want so we want more oranges like to a jacket and skin tone i think that's an obvious one and then the yellows so at the moment we want more of an orange greens there's not many greens in this image but i imagine we'll shift them to the left not many greens again just bring them down reds tiny bit in their lips and stuff oranges are good luminance is quite important so a bit of a shine Especially to those yellows. So luminance is the brightness of colours. Red, bit of a shine. Blue, bit of a shine. 
and then saturation of those blues and stuff can come down 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 just roughly in line with everything else this go a bit to the left for some vignetting I quite often slide this to the right and then it doesn't affect the highlights and then let's bring the midpoint in just so the vignette has a larger feather and then as for filters if we just come up here this filter down here on the bottom what we want to do if I press O we want it darker down the bottom and that's going to help bring our eye up woods to the subject framing the shot a lot better okay so the main takeaways were curves giving that really really flat fade to the image pretty important highlights for that bloom and brightness blues in the shadows is pretty important it's pretty strong um, we've got a bit of green in the highlight close there's the before and after yeah Bang. All right guys, so go give them a follow down in the description. I'll link them up down there. Comment people you want to see on this channel. Check out the free training if you haven't already. They'll give you a really good understanding of color and curves. And then you'll be able to follow these YouTube tutorials a lot easier once you learn color curves. Two really, really important things if you want to eventually get to the stage of making your own presets, creating your own style, really speeding up your learning because this can take 10 years to master. But if you learn these key things like color and curves, right? Right from the start you can cut that into a fraction of the time so that's also what we're doing within the course so come over to martinstrader.com you can see all the testimonials of people that are currently going through the course who have been through the course what they have to say about it where they were frustrated with editing not understanding the why behind adjustments and then after being through the course they feel really confident can create the style they want and yeah it's pretty awesome to see what we're building in there 100 guest editor lessons if i didn't have your your videos I think those guest editors would not be of much help because they're doing stuff I would not understand you know your guidance so yeah. I think it's the combination that that really makes it valuable that's awesome exactly what I go for there I really like how you structured it even when you're watching a guest editor it's hard to you can see it and that that in itself is huge but then trying to understand you know what's in their mind why have they done that I think that can help you understand that that can help you create your own style that can help you be more deliberate and you know choose all these little building blocks to make your own uh, you know when when you define that so i find that and, and, and you're kind of search for like the why you're doing that not just this is how is, is is super super useful and powerful and it's also for video people not just for photo it will really really excel your video color grading game i make all my colors in lightroom put it on video video editing's applications are very limiting lightroom is where it's at so you'll learn tons as a video color grader video shooter in this lightroom editing course catch you in the next one